Hey YouTube, Kimber Zellick here. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this channel is about my education and machining. Um, you're here if you wish to follow my uh, successes and my blunders. Uh, I promise to show everything, the good and the bad and the ugly. Um, I have a Harbor Freight Central Machinery 7x10 mini lathe right now. It has the four jaw four inch chuck, which I added. Comes with a three inch three jaw. I removed the compound and added this block of aluminum for my tool post for stability. I have what I would call the poor man's DRO. This came with the screw, so I believe it's probably for accuracy, I couldn't explain why all the, how all that works. But I got some mail today. The one thing that Harbor Freight Mini Lave does not have is a tachometer. So, this was on Amazon. It was about $18. It comes with the wiring, the magnet, Comes with a wiring diagram. And they want you to be happy. They have a email address on there. If you have any problems. I guess the most common problem is having the magnet upside down. I also got some new inserts. Not really new to me. I um, Somebody on YouTube with the mini lathe suggested this and I think I have what he suggested um, the package only says MT 32.52 chip breaker um, what I ordered had quite a few uh, quite a bit more information following the MT so I'm not 100% sure how to read that I know um, there's supposed to be a lot of information on the back of this as to the characteristics of the, of the insert, but this is my second round with this. I just wanted to have some extras. Um, it does do a fantastic job with aluminum. And a um, little project I was working on is a thread gauge. I know you can buy these for four or five dollars. But this um, gave me the opportunity to uh, do some tapping by hand and practicing getting it in straight and flush. This three millimeter was quite a challenge. I did take it all the way through and it was literally like two or three like two or three degrees back it break it two or three degrees back it break it pull it out clean it rinse and repeat so I'll be adding to this then when I run out of room on the face I'll go to the side and um, yeah, I had a lot of time on my hands. Well, let's get down to the topic of today's video. And that is going to be changing the gears for a threading operation. Um, I have a previous video on threading and I proclaimed that there's taps and dies and I don't need to ever do this again and uh, let's just say that wasn't terribly successful I do have I do have an example of what I did do and it I don't know if that's going to focus or not. 
but it kind of resembles threads. Okay, so we're going to do this without the compound. I'm going to use this insert. I have it squared to my chuck. I do not have, I think it's called a fishtail. I do not have that. My plan is I'm going to do 13 threads per inch. The pitch 2.0. Now that's the nut that I would hope to um, hope to thread this my final result onto. So let's talk about the gears a little bit. I can't believe I'm unprepared. I do need to. Uh, get my pointer out such an elegant tool okay so basically there's four gears here a b c and d so here's a b c in front and d okay what i'm asking what this 13 threads per inch is asking for is a 40 tooth here 65 in B, and that's already a 65. And a 60 in C, and a 30 in D. So I need to remove A, C, and D. So there's cap head screws here. For some reason, there's two different sizes. So let's loosen up. B and C first. And then I'll go to A and D. The lathe is turned off and unplugged. Okay, I got an area of my bench here designated A, B, C, and D. And the owner's manual does tell you what gears in what order to get back to the original configuration. So there's A, B, C, and D. So first we're going to remove A, comes off quite easy, be careful that the key stays in place. Okay, now to take um, C and D off, let me grab a paper towel. Uh, you can't see it yet, but there's something back here. It's called the banjo gear. And there's two nuts back there for adjusting the gear train. And I just want to get it. This, there we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and... <clears throat> Loosen up the bottom one as well. I think that's good enough. There we go. So that loosens everything up. So we're going to take A, B, B is staying, we're going to take C off. There's A, this is B, C. So we got, and then we're going to take off this one. And I try to, I try to keep these keys <clears throat> 
facing up. Obviously, you don't want them to fall out. So, we want 40 at the top. And each gear has a number stamped on it. And you just find the corresponding number that you're looking for. Okay, so there's 40. That's A. Okay, B is 65. We already have that one on there. Now we need C is going to be 60. So C uh, I don't want to put my head in front of you from the camera. Okay, it's a little tough with a banjo gear. There we go. And so there's A, B, 40, 65, 60, A, B, C. Now we have 30. And 30 will go here. Now, in some configurations, um, you're only required to change three gears. And you just pick any gear in the bunch, whatever it takes to complete the train. So let me get this thing just a little snug so it's going to hold. And then. Bottom one I can just turn by hand here and get it snugged. Now, you don't want these things super tight. You want about, oh, I don't know, 80% engagement. I'm going to have to put my head in here just a second. If you get it too tight, I found um, it doesn't want to reverse. Okay, so this is, I'm going to go ahead and snug up this top one. You can really feel it if it's too tight. You can um, reverse seems to be less forgiving than forward. Okay. Um, I'm operating in low range. Um, only because I, seems to me that there's going to be more torque in the lower range. So I could be wrong about that. Um, if you can correct me, I would love it. And for 
some reason we shoot down to sizes here on this shaft. So why am I trying to put D into BC? Okay, I I don't have any uh, I don't have any material uh, chucked up and or calibrated. I wasn't intending on doing any threading on this video, but since you've hung around this far, let's go ahead and, uh, and stick something in the, in the chuck and let's just do a scratch pass. <laughs> 